Good morning and welcome back to Marty's Tying Bench. I'm putting together vice squad kits and since it's April and the fish are feeding on the surface on midges I figured uh, Eric's midge would be a good pattern for this week. It's by our local treasure Eric Patine. A good midge that uh, kind of crosses over between a single midge and a cluster and a great one for our local waters. This is a size 18, any 18 dry fly hook. This happens to be a Dairiki 320. And I'm using gray thread. You can adjust the body color as you wish, but gray seems to work quite well. I'm using some carded antron in gray for the shuck and you'll want to uh, separate it out about half that volume is what you want don't make it too thick there we go for the wing slash wing case I'm using one millimeter foam I'll trim this off of a sheet and to keep the body somewhat symmetrical we're going to move our thread to our forward index which is going to be about one eye length behind the eye just hold that in place and just kind of barely catch it with the thread and come back down the hook shank Now I'm going to do that until I get to the barb of the hook and then take a couple extra turns. Not too tight. You don't want to cut through that foam. Now, I've got a done hackle. And I want one that's just going to go past the barb of the hook a little bit. I don't want it to go very far. Kind of one size under. This hook's a size 18. You'll tie this in 16s down to 20s. And if you ever dare Eric to tie this in a 26, he won't blink. He'll just tie one in about three minutes. So, not great coverage, but I've turned that abdomen kind of a gray. I'm going to make wraps with the hackle, probably about five of them. too bad. I'm going to take my scissors and just kind of part it on the top so that when I pull over the foam, stretching it just a little bit but not too much. Again, my wraps of thread here aren't very tight. I can get some tight anchor wraps right there. And I didn't make very many of them because I'm going to put a hot spot in there with some yarn. Let's cut that uh, foam down to just a little bit past the eye of the hook. Pick the color that you can see. This is kind of a cerise, kind of a very bright pink. And again, when it comes off of the card, it's going to be too thick. So you're going to want to divide that and use about half the volume. Now I'm going to twist this so I can tame it a little bit and set that right in there where I tied off. Now those turns are a little firmer because I've got some cushion here with the yarn. Get it out of the way, a couple more tight wraps and I'm ready to whip finish. That's how you get those materials tied in tight without a whole bunch of wraps. Rely more on these security wraps. Okay, now we're going to trim our high vis post. Somewhere around the vicinity of the length of the wing case, and then we'll do the same with the shuck. 
And there you have it, Eric's Midge. You should be using this the entire month of April and well into May. Have fun.